gas metal arc welding or as it is commonly known MIG or CO2 welding is a semi-automatic process that melts and joins metals by heating with an arc between the consumable wire and a workpiece. The consumable wire is automatically fed into the weld pool during the welding process. While MIG is a solid wire, flux core wires are tubular which contains an alloy flux in the core. For the correct setup procedures and equipment, please refer to our MIG setup and maintenance DVD. Setting of the machine can be done between three transfer modes. Number one, dip transfer. The voltage on the power source is set between 15 and 22 volts. The wire feed speed is set until you hear a crackling sound similar to the frying of bacon. The major advantages of the dip transfer is that it can be used on thinner materials below 3 mm and welding can be done out of position, for example vertical and overhead welding. The disadvantage of dip transfer is that it is not suitable for thicker materials and could result in lack of weld penetration and increased weld spatter. Number 2. Spray transfer. The voltage on the power source is set between 24 and 32 volts. The wire feed speed is set until you hear a hissing sound with very little visible spatter. The major advantages of spray transfer is the high speed of this transfer, better weld penetration on thicker materials and a virtually spatter-free weld. The disadvantages of spray transfer is that it cannot be used on thinner materials and out-of-position welding. Number 3. Pulsed Spray Transfer It is an electronic combination of dip and spray transfer and results in a combination of a spatter-free weld in all positions and on thinner materials. The flux cord arc welding process is similar to MIG welding with the only difference being flux in the core of the wire. The main objective of the flux is to add alloying elements to the welded metal and assist with positional welding. In some cases, it also acts as shielding. You get two types of cord wires, namely gas-assisted and gasless wires. Gasless wires are used mainly for external applications where shielding from the wire is critical to protect the weld from the atmosphere in windy conditions. Flux cord wires operate mainly in spray transfer mode and can be used in all positions. The voltage on the power source is set between 24 and 32 volts. The wire feed speed is set until you hear a hissing sound with very little visible spatter. Flux cord wires leave a flux coating after welding and must be chipped and brushed away before welding a second weld, the same as with shielded metal arc welding. Select the correct shielding gas for the wire selected, for example Argo Shield for mild steel and Alu Shield for aluminium. In summary, the advantages of MIG are as follows. Number 1. No slag covering on weld deposit. Number 2. Weldable on most metals, for example copper, aluminium, carbon steels and stainless steel. Number 3. The MIG process offers high productivity in workshop fabrication environments. Advantages of flux cord arc welding are as follows. Number one, higher deposition rates due to the alloy flux inside the wire. Number two, welding is possible in all positions. Number three, offers high productivity in workshop fabrication environments. Number four, flux cord arc welding is weldable on most metals. Number five, Gasless flux cord wires can be used in external environments. <music>